Hey everyone, what I have here is the iPhone 4 um, and I have the new BlackBerry Torch 9860, the fully touchscreen BlackBerry Torch um, aka Storm 3. Um, so a lot of uh, my viewers have been wanting me to do a comparison between the two, so here we go. Um, first of all, I'll do some physical spec comparisons. So lengthwise, um, the BlackBerry Torch is slightly longer. Um, thickness, um, I would say that the Torch is uh, slightly thicker as well. Um, and how wide it is, slightly wider as well. So um, uh, this is how, the torch has the typical BlackBerry feel, the newer age BlackBerry feel, um, which I do like. It's uh, a lot better than the older Curve 8300 series uh, phones, which in the old Pearls. Um, so it's a lot nicer of a feeling, more of a luxurious feeling on it. Um, iPhone 4 typical, um, uh, they got the metal bezel around, which I really like improvements over the iPhone 3. Um, anyways, um, so I'll just show you kind of speed-wise what we're looking at as far as comparing both of them. Um, so going through, uh, they're both very smooth. I mean, I know this isn't any hard evidence that um, it's a good device or whatnot just by doing this, but this is a one test that a lot of people do do just to show the smoothness of the devices. So um, the Torch is very smooth, the iPhone obviously is very smooth. Um, the iPhone's a little bit faster scrolling through. Um, could be just software um, improvements because the processor in the new Torch is very high. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do a little bit of a browser comparison. I've got both of them set on Google right now, and I've got them both set on my same Wi-Fi network. Um, I'm going to go on to a site, CNN.com, um, one of the common sites that I do some tests with. Um, oops, go back here, um, CNN. So one thing um, that uh, I've had. Uh, quite a bit of use between both the phones. One thing that I do find um, is the keyboard on the uh, the new Torch. Um, it's not as uh, easy to use. Like just just looking at the buttons wise, I mean you can see the buttons on the iPhone 4 are bigger, so it is a little bit easier to type um, on the iPhone 4. Uh, both of them obviously can do the the side. Um, flip thing here so you can type that way which makes them bigger um, also again iPhone is, is a little bit bigger button wise a little bit more precise for for typing on when you do it that way as well um, anyways uh, so we're gonna go on to the site so we've got both sites here loaded uh, and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of race and see uh, which one can do it faster oops Get this set up again, CNN.com, one, two, three. Um, iPhone having trouble loading the web page, so we're going to try that again. What's going on here? Um, so far, I can open my page, not connected to the internet. Um, hmm. Okay, having a little bit of tr trouble with my Wi Fi. Um, so, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video here and I'm just going to try and fix my Wi Fi and see if I can get this going. I'll be right back. Hey guys, we're back. Um, still having a little bit of problems getting my Wi-Fi working. Um, so um, what I'm going to do is, uh, so I'm going to tell you a couple of things. So um, obviously the iPhone browser is now known to, to be one of the benchmarks for a browser experience. Um, the BlackBerry now has kind of caught up in that sense. Um, I'll show you uh, browser-wise. Um, we're going to try and go into desktop mode here, uh, full site. Uh, for some reason, the Wi-Fi on my BlackBerry is working, but it's not working on my iPhone. Um, anyways, um, so there you have it. So that's kind of the browser experience. Um, you can still see the squaring when it's loading a little bit. But uh, other than that, it does look more like a true browser. This is more of the iPhone-type browser now on the newer devices, which is a huge thing for RIM. Um, that's something that they've been trying to get time over time over time. Um, I think they finally have got their browser done. So you can see that the browser, it's very nice, very precise once everything loads up. Um, it's got that pinch to zoom, um, which does run smoothly. I just clicked on something, that's why it's loading. Um, but uh, it is a really, really nice browser. I've used this phone quite a bit. I can tell you the browser experience on it is um, equal to the iPhone now. So I'm um, very impressed with browser experience. 
Um, I'm gonna go over camera wise now. Um, so camera, both five megapixel, both have the LED flash. BlackBerry has a little bit bigger of a flash. Um, BlackBerry's gone towards this new always in focus type camera um, with the Bolt 9900 and the Torch 9860. I'm not a fan of it to be honest. Uh, I did like the autofocus. They have kept the autofocus on the 9810 though, which is nice. Um, they both take 720p HD video, which is uh, now becoming a standard for the smartphones. Um, we'll see if the new iPhone 5 comes out with a 1080p HD video. Um, but uh, that's pretty good as well. So um, one thing um, I can tell you for sure is um, a huge thing about the smartphones now is apps. Um, so you can see I've got tons of apps on my iPhone. Um, I actually haven't ha loaded any apps on my um, Torch 9860, but um, I can tell you for sure I don't use my 9860 for apps just because the apps are nowhere near the quality as the um, Apple uh, product apps. Um, a lot of the developers obviously have gone towards Apple for apps. Um, uh, the uh, Google Android software is coming up for apps as well. A lot of developers going there now, but still BlackBerry is, is very behind in the apps, which is a little bit of a disappointment. Um, so um, everyone's going to ask, well, which one's the winner? Um, I'm a huge, huge BlackBerry fan, as you can see by all my BlackBerry videos. I've been a little bit biased towards Blackberries in the past, um, which I'm now trying to be not biased. I'm going to do a fair comparison between the phones. If I were to personally pick between these two phones, I'm going to have to unfortunately say, or not unfortunately say, but because I'm such a BlackBerry fan, I'm going to say uh, that I would pick the iPhone. Um, just because, uh, well, for a full touchscreen experience, the browser is equal. The keyboard's better on this one. Um, the apps are there. Um, obviously, the only downfall is I'm not going to have BBM. If so, if you're used to BBM, you want the full web browsing experience. Go with the Torch 9860. It's still a great phone. Um, it's not a bad phone by any means. You just don't get your apps. So if you're not a huge app person. Um, then go with the Torch. Um, if you like the apps, like the games, I do like my apps and games, um, then go with the iPhone 4. So um, there you have it. Um, it's There's no real winner though. It's obviously whatever suits you. So um, if the phone, the Torch suits you, then get the Torch. If the iPhone suits you, get the iPhone. Me personally, I would pick the iPhone. That's just me though. Um, anyways, hope you like my review. Love to hear about all your comments, um, questions down below. Thanks a lot guys.